Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your ball B, and we back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what if they added Slayer marks, right? Boom. I said, what if they added Slayer marks? They might add Slayer marks. They might not. But let's talk about it. Because a lot of people have been talking about like how it might be coming out in this update. You know, I wanted to speak about it. And then we're going to look at one of y'all's suggestions. And I wanted this video to be done also. So, hey, you don't get it popping because I'm a man of my word. It's what I do. And we're going to make it happen. But, all right. So, exactly how would Slayer Marks work? So, we're going to go based off of what he said, right? And if they add this in update two, the way... It would make sense that they there, there would be a way to obtain it. And I'm going to tell you how, how soon. But we're going to look at his um, suggestion first, you know? And shout out to this guy, um, Lost Soul. Because this was, this was his suggestion. So, shout out to him. But as you can see here, so the Slayer Mark is being done. All right, you have to be level 200 plus. Yeah, that, that, you see, like, that would make sense. If, you're, if your health is below 20, 25 to 30%, you know, then, you know, it would activate for, a f a f a like, I don't know, last for, like, a few seconds. I, I don't think, I don't think 20 to 40 seconds is enough time, bro. I think, like, a minute 30 a minute 30 would be okay you know what i'm saying a minute 30 because people could run you know what i'm saying people would run away from you wait until the slayer mark is you know gone you'll need a little bit of time to catch him all right upon activating all right so it would give you buffs so these will be the buffs right here to help automatically okay so your health would go back up and then it will gradually decrease as the slayer mark is active because that's what the slayer mark does is essentially is shortens your life so you know that makes sense that would make sense um you get you get more speed you get dodge um faster dodge reload uh, i didn't even did, did, i didn't even know we had dodge in the game um you get damage reduction i think it should be five i don't think it should be two i think it should just be five 5% damage reduction. That's not a crazy amount of damage reduction. Um, one of the following three. All damage automatic. I, honestly, I don't see why it should be sword or strength. All damage, whatever you're using. Um, after the mark deactivates, Slayer loses 15, 20 other stamina. Slayer loses 10, 20 of the health. Oh, I don't know about lose. Uh, all right, I mean, I guess that's one way to balance it out. That's one way to balance it out. So like they would lose like fifteen to twenty percent of their stamina, you know, and then ten to twenty percent of their health. Let me know how y'all feel about this. In the in the honestly, I wouldn't change anything. <clears throat> the only thing I would change is losing <laughs> losing health and stamina is fake crazy and it's draining. You feel me? That's that's a little bit like that's that's a little bit old. I ain't gonna lie, cause your Ichi wasn't going around losing all those. You know, I feel like if you master it, th there should be a way to master your your Slayer Mark. You know, like you can train it. Like after a while of using it, you know, through battles and stuff, you'd use it, and then I'll tell you exactly how you'd have to obtain it. Also, so I don't know. Like I would say like you train it. All right, you say you fight an Akaza or something, or you run into like they add like NPCs in the server. Like oh, the upper moon just spawned. Like this would be like a world event instead of like the actual NPCs, you know, just being in the thing. So it would be an upper moon, just like um, Demon Fall, for example, when Kaigaku spawn, everybody would go to Kaigaku, fight as a team. You know, I feel like that would that would make it so like a lot of people work together to kill one boss. You know, make it like actually like on some hardcore stuff. So, like, when people are fighting to get low, and then you have a chance to level up your Slayer Mark from there. So, it's not something so easily, you know, leveled up. You actually have to work hard for it to get to, like, max level. And then, when it gets to max level, it doesn't guarantee that you don't lose health. But instead of you, like, losing health, you just lose the stamina. You know what I'm saying? You keep your health. Because your Uruchi doesn't lose his health. But I feel like you should be a little bit tired from using a Slayer Mark. Um... It draining your health. I don't know how I feel about the draining your health port, but Lost Soul Man. Hey, listen, this this looks great. After after everything else, I don't really have anything to complain about besides 
losing the health part like bro you're you're draining the character's health right and then you're taking 10 percent to 20 percent of their health right after the slayer mark de deactivates that's od and then like what's the point of healing them to 70 percent if like they'll just end up damn near dead you know what i'm saying and if somebody would if if you say if you're like i don't know if you have like 20 percent health left and then the mark disactivates you're dead that's that's an automatic ko you see what i'm saying it just it's just gonna suck and it's gonna be bad bro it's gonna be bad bro um i don't know what they're saying down here honestly don't want to go through all of that and then the way i would say you'd obtain it is boom perfect if they add the entertainment district that would be great bro you can obtain it from like i don't know like a dungeon you do a dungeon and then you have a chance to obtain it from like um uh, fighting upper moon six and then he you know as you're fighting him your potential increases over time so you'd have like a meter you have a chance for it to go zooming through like you feel me depending on what race you have but if you don't have something like a, a good race then the meter will slowly go up type stuff you know what i'm saying and then you end up getting it so like at the end of the day every time you do the, the raid or mission you're still gonna be guaranteed i, I don't feel like y'all should make it so like we blow into guards and then you get to level six and then you unlock slayer mark i feel like it should be a different way like a more unique way and if you have a um, y'all own examples that y'all want to use in the Discord. I said Discord. I can go in the Discord, honestly. I'll be chilling in there. As y'all can see here, I'm I'm sitting here. I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. Um, but yeah, if y'all want to go in the Discord, y'all want to do all that, y'all can talk about it in there also. I'm going to be in there. Y'all can talk to me about it. Um, but yeah, that's, 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 that's really my thoughts on that, though. Like, I really feel like it should be like a, I don't know, it don't have to be a raid, but like, it could be like a world of it. And then, like, you have a chance to get, you know, the Slayer Mark. I don't want it to be, like, you have to have a chance and then you don't get, like, no progression towards it. Like, if you continue to do it, bro, you have a progression board going up. So, none of that goes to waste. So, you can do it as much as you want to, but you're going to be, you feel me? You're going to have guarantee that you get it, which is the pity. That's That, that would basically be the pity system. Or you can get lucky and get it off of your first kill. So, you don't have to do all that extra work. Um, But, yeah, and that would be, that would be great because I feel like demons right now. Or better than Slayers. Honestly, bro. Like, if you have Komodo Demon, you're you're pretty much set. Because you don't lose stamina, bro. And you could just spam your, you could just spam your moves. Um, But, yeah. I feel like another thing that they should add, though, for the game is, like, with the PvP system. I feel like the stun time is way too much, bro. I feel like you should be able to, like, get out of an M1 combo with just, like, you feel me? If you time it quick enough, you should be able to block somebody else's. For example, like Paradox. Like, when you play Paradox, somebody's, like, slashing you, slashing you. Like, the slashes aren't too fast. So, you could predict when somebody's about to slash again and then parry and get out of that combo. So, you y'all could keep parrying each other back and forth, which makes the which makes the fight last longer. It's not that you have much health, but it makes it last longer. And it's like, I don't know, you feel more in-depth to the... Like, I don't know what it is, bro. Like, you really just feel like you're, you're really getting it on. You know what I'm saying? You're getting, you're getting crazy. You feel me? So... Hey, I don't know, you feel me? Let me know what y'all think, bro. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. How you would like how would you make the Slayer's Mark, bro? How would you make the Slayer's Mark? The next video might be on you. You know what I'm saying? On how you would create your Slayer Mark. Um, if you have any suggestions, go into their Discord and then type in suggestions. You can type in your your suggestion in my um video section. I have a uh, a spot where I can suggest videos. It's right here. So when y'all join the server, video suggestion is right under announcements because y'all y'all are important, obviously. So I'll put it right under announcements so I can see it because I always look at announcements. Um, but yeah, bro. I don't know what to say. And then um, thank you guys for joining the server. I have 611 of y'all on my server. I appreciate it. We're growing as a family. And hey, I don't know what else, what else to say. Make sure y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe. Join the family and catch y'all the next one. Peace.